All right, guys, we are uh, on the outside of the house now, and I just wanted to kind of pan around the, uh, the homes that you know surround this home. Um, and you really have uh, you know, a mix of things. I mean, this is a home that was built in the 80s, but uh, you know, this is really a neighborhood that was developed in the 50s. Um, and you know, as you can see, you have homes uh, like your neighbor here that has been, you know, totally uh, redone from top to bottom and, and looks exceptional. Uh, you have um, not quite as nice, but uh, you know, home that certainly been looks to be cared for, and perhaps you know they're doing some renovation work back there. I don't know. Um, and then you have homes like uh, you know next door. Uh, over here that you know uh, a little rough around the edges some junk in the backyard um, so that's kind of what you have uh, you know in the neighborhood uh, certainly as as real estate values have uh, you know increased in recent years I mean this is certainly a place you know that's seeing you know some gentrification um, you know and some changes um, but you do have uh, you know certainly a mix of uh, people uh, in, you know, a location like this. You might hear a little bit of, uh, you know, some road noise. That is uh, Columbia Pike right there. And, you know, if you were headed to the Pentagon, that's really the most direct route. So now let's uh, take a detailed look at uh, at the exterior and you got a concrete driveway here parking for you know at least two cars certainly on this driveway more like three um, you know no really bad cracking um, in the driveway some minor stuff but that's to be expected now it looks like all of these have their all these windows have their screens uh, on them but remember those were the windows that were pretty um, pretty fogged up uh, the garage doors uh, these all look to be original garage doors certainly you know I think looking at them could use a you know, just a fresh coat of paint. Not horrible, but. That vent is a place where you're prone to see a little bit of uh, wood rot also in these upper windows that uh, you can't easily get your hands on and uh, and see but you know this is a house I would go through and power wash the exterior and uh, you know then have my painter come over here and uh, hit all of the trim hit the door and I think that would kind of help give it a a fresher look too. And here's the front porch and front door. It does look like there was a screen door on here at some point that has been removed. And all of these fixtures, lighting fixtures look really kind of period correct you have power out here too maybe a little bit of rotten chipping down there Someone has put in some railroad ties here. 
to kind of create a, uh, a flower bed. One thing that I do notice, um, it looks like there has been, you have lost some soil here underneath this concrete slab. Um, and I would certainly try and fill that back in. Uh, you know, I believe that that's certainly a result of, you know, water dumping uh, in this location. And that's just kind of kind of continue to, uh, you know, wash out soil in that area. Um, so it's always good to get, uh, you know, work on drainage on your home, uh, get those downspouts extended or buried um, and, and make sure water is moving correctly uh, around your home. And another look at the roof. It certainly looks to be kind of one of the high points for me over here, a little bit newer roof. take a little more look and see if we can get a good look yeah I mean there's a pretty good pretty good void you know forming under there so you definitely want to build that back up again um, you know we were talking about the masonry chimney um, this is gonna be a metal flue pipe going all the way up I'm sure uh, the fact that it's uh, covered um, you know, doing a masonry chimney, it's an expensive proposition to get a, a mason out here. Um, so, you know, newer construction, generally a metal, metal flue pipe. And certainly the fact that it's all in siding is evidence of that. And there's the AC compressor that looks original to the house. That is definitely something that's going to need, uh, you know, some TLC soon. I don't know what's stuffed in there. A little plastic, I guess. Those are the windows going down to the basement. Like I said, everything could use you know, just a fresh coat of paint on all the exterior trim. I can't reach up there, but maybe some rot in that corner, just eyeballing it. Some trim rot, not, not that big of a deal on a house like this. Kind of, you know, very typical, unless you are really on it as far as maintenance goes. Given the age of the home, you do have the smaller, smaller gutters on the house. And again, it'd be nice if we got some uh, extensions on those gutters. ding right there in the uh, siding not that big a deal I'm sure you'll find some others but right here this is the uh, access from the kitchen and you have a little small little deck area a place where you could put a grill and then here is the backyard And really a pretty nice flat backyard. Um, no real offensive sight lines. Um, you have a pretty nice neighborhood behind you. And then you have your neighbor over here and there's a good size privacy fence. So, you know, his backyard is pretty well obstructed.
but this looks to be the property line in here just given kind of what I can see there's some sort of uh, fire plate firewood shed here that looks to belong to you know this this lot and it looks like this lot just kind of meanders that way back to the street and a pretty nice flat uh, good sizable backyard I mean in this area you really can't can't complain about this there's one of your neighbors behind you And I'm walking back here and I do feel, we've had some rain recently, and I do feel a little bit of kind of more mushiness here. And uh, the backyard does look like it has a very, very slight grade going back here, which is good because you're getting water away, you know, from the house. And here's the deck and the master up there. And there's gonna be the family room access. And everything back here, as far as the pipes coming out of the house and downspouts, uh, I mean, this really looks to be related to getting water off the roof. I haven't seen really anything uh, relating to, you know, a sump pump or former sump pump line. That looks to be a, a space that could be filled in a little bit better. The deck all looks pretty, pretty solid. It looks like the upper structure was totally rebuilt and the uh, post here uh, had been here. And here's the privacy fence. My guess is that belongs to your neighbor. And I think, well, maybe not, actually. Let's see how this is run. No, it does belong to him. And it looks like this has just been hooked up here to give a little bit more privacy to the, uh, to the backyard. bit of waviness up there not quite sure what that is see that's that's so soft I can I can put my finger through it and you'll find places like that Uh, I'm nitpicking at this point, but a couple patches in the screens up there. And yeah, it looks like this is their spot for uh, trash cans, kind of just hidden out of the way. Again, that downspout's not really going anywhere. And that is a very detailed look uh, at 4014 Ridge.